हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल लॉजिक मेडिको टुडे इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक इज स्टेंस आर वेली पैलेटिन इट इज वन ऑफ द मजल ऑफ द सॉफ्ट पैलेट सो वेर इज द लोकेशन ऑफ दिस टेंस आर वेली पैलेटिन एंड वाई इट इज कॉल्ड सो सो द लोकेशन ऑफ दिस इज इन द सॉफ्ट पैलेट वॉट इज सॉफ्ट पैलेट इन द रूफ ऑफ द ओवरल कैविटी देर इज वन बोनी स्ट्रक्चर कॉल्ड हार्ड पैलेट just behind the hard palate there is one muscular curtain which is called as soft palate soft palate is covered by mucous membrane within this soft palate there is a fibrous framework called as palatine aponeurosis with to this framework multiple muscles are attached and moves the soft palate either upwards or downwards the elevation or depression either it can tense the soft palate or relax the soft palate also there is one conical projection in the lower margin of the soft palate which is called as a uvula so today's topic is tensor veni palatini so this tensor veni palatini is a muscle of the soft palate as the name suggests it creates a tension within the soft palate it is called veli because it begins from eustachian tube and of course it's called palatini because it's present in palate so what is the meaning of tensor veni palatini you can see this muscle from here okay from the lower surface of the greater wing of spinoid bone coming downwards parallel to the medial pterygoid muscle hooking around the pterygoid hamulus and going and forming this palatine aponeurosis which is the framework for the soft palate so tensor veli palatini it's one of the muscle of the soft palate come to the origin and insertion of this muscle the origin of this muscle you can see this tube right so that is called the eustachian tube or auditory tube it comes from the lateral surface of the eustachian tube or auditory tube also from the lower surface of the greater wing of sphenoid bone that part of the sphenoid bone has got a boat shaped depression and that is called as scaphoid fossa it runs vertically downwards parallel to the medial pterygoid plate hooks across the pterygoid hamulus there is a hammer like structure that is called pterygoid hamulus and the tendon of this tensor veli palatini forms one flattened structure called as palatine aponeurosis this palatine aponeurosis is anchored to the posterior border of hard palate also there is one elevation which just below that it's called as palatine crest so that is an insertion it gets it forms the palatine aponeurosis and that anchors to the posterior border of hard palate also to an elevation below that it's called as palatine crest so origin i'll repeat one more time origin from the lateral surface of eustachian tube and the lower surface of the greater wing of sphenoid bone also called scaphoid fossa then it runs parallel to the medial pterygoid plate hooks around the pterygoid hamulus to form palatine aponeurosis this palatine aponeurosis gets attached to the posterior border of hard palate and one crest called as palatine crest what is action any guesses the name of the muscle is tensor veli palatini so the action is there within the name option elevation depression tension relaxation if you are told it is causing tension in the soft palate then it's correct answer so it creates a tension in the soft palate so that the soft palate becomes like one cardboard like structure it's really a thick structure so when it becomes such thing it will go and anchor between the nasopharynx and oropharynx cutting off the connection between the two so that the food from the oropharynx during deglutition that is during swallowing will not enter the nasopharynx i will tell you one more time it creates tension in the soft palate in such a way the soft palate becomes like a cardboard like structure so that it cuts off the connection between the superiorly placed nasopharynx from the inferiorly placed oropharynx once the connection is cut off the food from the oropharynx will not be able to enter the nasopharynx exception during vomiting there is incoordination in the soft palate muscle as well as in the pharyngeal muscle so there is a gap okay that time the food can come into the nostrils or the nasal cavity and through the nostrils also that is only during exceptional condition called vomiting otherwise tensor veli palatini tensing the soft palate creates a cardboard like structure which cuts off nasopharynx from naso oropharynx temporarily creating a blockade
also this helps in uh, the voice which is coming from the larynx should not enter the nasal cavity certain speech sounds should not enter the nasal if it does that means the soft palate is either short or the pharynx is too huge due to pharyngeal surgery that is called vello pharyngeal incompetence meaning the soft palate is not competent enough to close the pharynx that time what happens the speech will come through the nasal cavity which actually shouldn't so that time the patient will have hyper nasal speech i'm speaking now please observe hello hmm no 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 so it's not possible right because i am just closing my mouth but the soft palate is cutting off the connection between nasopharynx and oropharynx but otherwise in a person who has got a short soft palate or a wide pharynx either due to pharyngeal surgery or soft palate surgery or due to scarring inflammation so many reasons that causes vello pharyngeal incompetence resulting in hyper nasal speech where more of the voice comes from the nose rather than the mouth okay so that is the importance of this muscle called as tensor veli palatine so the action you already know creates a tension within the soft palate so that soft palate cuts off the connection between nasopharynx and oropharynx come to the last but not the least the interesting stuff all the muscles of the palate are supplied by accessory nerve or the 11th cranial nerve except this muscle what is this muscle tensor veli palatine why this tensor veli palatine is more close to the mandible mandible is the lower jaw okay so it will be supplied by mandibular nerve it's a branch of trigeminal nerve also developmentally this muscle tensor veli palatine is developed along with muscles of mastication these muscles of mastication or chewing are also supplied by mandibular nerve and therefore tensor veli palatine it's also derived from the mandibular arch so along with muscles of mastication even the tensor veli palatine will be supplied by mandibular nerve whereas all the other muscles which you can see in my other videos they will be supplied by accessory nerve or the 11th cranial nerve okay in summary tensor veli palatine is one of the muscle of soft palate it causes tension in the soft palate it dilates the eustachian tube it begins from the scaphoid fossa hooks around the pterygoid amylus anchors onto the palatine crest and the posterior border of hard palate it creates a tension in the soft palate therefore the name and cuts off the connection between nasopharynx and oropharynx so during swallowing or deglutition food cannot enter the nasopharynx or the nasal cavity it goes down into the laryngopharynx esophagus slides down into the stomach hope you like this video share this video with your family and friends don't forget to press the thumbs up button kindly subscribe to my channel and press the bell button and share this video so that it reaches maximum number of students can benefit out of it thank you once again